Democratic presidential candidates are descending on Iowa this weekend. A new poll finds Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren in first place among Democratic voters in the Hawkeye state. Former Vice President Joe Biden now a distant fourth. Ed O'Keefe is on the trail in Cedar Rapids tonight. Well, Rena, with three months to go until the Iowa caucus, we're heading into a season of higher stakes and tough decisions. Take, for example, the case of former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke, who won acclaim from Democrats across the country for his better than expected showing in a Texas Senate race last year. But he's now bowing out of the presidential campaign, admitting he doesn't have the funding to continue on and won't make it to the next debate stage. His decision stunned staffers and volunteers here in Iowa who had no idea the end was coming. Some of them were seen outside a big party event in the state Friday night in tears at the news. Others, like Senator Kamala Harris of California, are making tough decisions, too. She's parting ways with most of her staff in the early primary state of New Hampshire as she moves every last dollar she can here to Iowa. She's vowed to finish in the top three, but faces steep odds. And finally, the field is reacting to Senator Elizabeth Warren's plan to pay for her Medicare for All proposal. After months of dodging questions about how she'd pay for it, she's unveiled a proposal that she says wouldn't raise taxes on middle-class Americans. But opponents, like former Vice President Joe Biden, call her idea mathematical gymnastics. Health care remains the top substantive issue of debate among the candidates because it's a top-of-mind concern for voters here in Iowa and across the country. Ed O'Keefe, thank you very much, Ed.